I'm we Tommy. are so incredible. Tommy, pardon me. Oh, no, no, people call me Tommy. Okay, you got it. Saying, Hello. We got Tommy here, Tony Award winner. What an incredible Sunday, but also what an incredible feat. Such a success. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm, I'm delighted to be here to be back with this, this group of absolute magical knuckleheads. Yeah, you don't see this much hugging, I usually at there's the red lot, carpet. There's a lot, there's a lot of hugging. It's like a, but it's like camp reunion. Yeah. You know, the thing that was so strange about the show is you work, we worked for a year and a half before we even got into rehearsal, 15 months. Then we get into rehearsal, we're rehearsing six days a week for two months. And then you do the show and then at 7.01 Pacific time, it was over. And we don't do it again. We're not doing eight a week. The next day, we were gone. I mean, it was like, it was, it was as if the school year ended. It was as if camp ended. So this is the first time we've all really been back together. And we really didn't like each other, as you can tell. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There was, was a lot um, of animosity on this cast. Singing with anger. Yes. That's how <laughs> so I did most of my singing. Did you look at the, the forecast for the week before and think, oh, my goodness, there's rain? Did you ever think in California it would happen? Well, I thought it because Mark Platter, executive producer, when we realized we were going to be in L.A., you know, sometime in August, started telling me, Tommy, Godzilla, El Nino. I'm like, okay, Mark, we get it. He's like, Tommy, it's coming. I was like, Mark, what are the odds? We're on for... Th and of course, he was right. And that's when I realized I should always listen to Mark Platt. So how did you feel waking up that morning? Umbrellas, outside. Let's go. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, we were ready. You know, and the reality is like, if you want to show something's live, have it be raining and have yeah. some of your show be outside. You know, it was, do you remember the movie L.A. Story? It was like this Steve Martin movie. And they're doing the weather and it's just, you know, it's the same every day. If you looked at the weather for 60 days, there was one day it was raining and it was a 100% chance of rain. I've never seen a 100% chance of rain anywhere. And it was raining sideways at 8 a.m. that day. And I thought, all right, yeah. all right, world, here we go. And then um, coming from Hamilton to Greece, these are polar opposites, different on the spectrum. How was the, how was the change, the difference? Well, I, I felt they were actually pretty similar because my feeling is what they're both doing is introducing theater to as many people as possible. What we're trying to do is make theater and one is a new work and, you know, with Greece, something that had been around for 40 years, bringing so many people into the theater. So this was a chance to put a really talented group together and say, hey, the tent is big enough for us all. And that's what we were trying to do. So, so that felt like it actually was pretty in sync. And I, I tried to take that same spirit. Let's make something with harmony. Let's make something that we love and make it with care and, and see what we can do. And, uh, you know, and... Okay, an absolute we, feat and, I mean, it's complete success. When I saw that opening sequence, one take, going through with Jesse J, one shot, I stood up and screamed, cried, and then screamed again. I totally musical theater nerded out. I knew I liked you. I didn't realize you did all three of those. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The em I can see the emotion. And then I right sang now. angrily. Yeah, and that, that sounds like you really did this right. I hope you were watching alone. <laughs> no, no, of course I wasn't. But the person still likes me, can you believe it or not. No, so how did it feel taking on such an iconic movie and making it your own? Well, we just wanted to honor it. You know, we wanted to take this group of actors, Julian Huff and Vanessa, Aaron, David Kether, Kiki, Carly, and just say, these are, these are our folks. We love that movie just like you did. And so throughout the movie, our, our production designer, David Corns and I would have these conversations and we would put in little Easter eggs. So the punch bowl in our movie was the punch bowl from the film. We had the original Hell's Cherry. It's all what we were saying implicitly and explicitly there is we know when we love it too. And we're trying to honor the spirit of that, of that original stage version in Chicago, Warren Casey and Jim Jacobs made, and all the way through to, you know, to our writers, Rob Carey and John Tolins. We said, let's take that spirit and make it our own and share it with a new generation.